on? I'm Scott from Koenig, and you know how those times come where you watch one of our videos and then you write a question in or a comment in down below, and then we're supposed to answer you back, but it takes a few days because you know we're answering everybody else's messages, and then we finally get back to you, and then we answer your question, and then you have another question. Well, this is the video where we're gonna answer some of those questions that you've asked. Uh, this is one of those frequently asked question videos that we do, and today's topic is threat engagement. So any of the questions that you have asked us about threat engagement, we're gonna try to answer some of those today. So, get some popcorn made, sit down, enjoy yourself, and get ready to come through the complicated world of threat engagement. And the first question actually is pretty simple. As I watch your content, I see in your videos that you talk about threat engagement. What exactly is threat engagement? Threat engagement is essentially the amount that a lug nut threads onto a stud or the amount that a lug bolt goes into the hub. That is kind of what is used to create that clamping stress and clamping force to hold your wheel onto the car. What we're trying to do is make sure that that lug nut has sufficient uh, grip and to have sufficient clamping force and to make sure that lug nut has enough bite, we need to make sure that that fastener is threaded on or threaded in uh, enough so that those threads are able to apply that force equally amongst those threads and actually be able to provide the protection you need to keep your wheel on the car. How do you know what's the amount of thread engagement that you need? Whatever the diameter of your fastener is, whether it be a lug nut or a lug bolt, you need to have at least that in the amount of threads that it threads on. If you have a 14 millimeter uh, lug nut, then you need to make sure that that lug nut is able to thread on 14 millimeters onto your stud. It's, it's really just that simple. How do I know exactly how many turns that turns into? Uh, so this is some simple math, really not that difficult. So let's say you have a 12 millimeter by 1.5 millimeter lug nut, and you need to figure out how many turns it needs to go onto the stud. 12 millimeters divided by the thread pitch of 1.5 and you're essentially gonna get about eight, what? Turns, about eight turns. Take a lug nut uh, or your fastener, you're gonna put a little dot on it or something that allows you to keep track of the revolutions. You're gonna rotate it around, one, two, three, four, five. If you get to eight, by the time you are applying the force to it, if it's made it eight revolutions around, you have enough thread engagement for your vehicle. So the next question is actually a really good question. Um, it says, if I use a torque wrench and I'm able to apply the amount of torque that my vehicle's manual tells me that I need to apply, does it matter about how many turns I have on the lug nut? This is actually a really good question because I can imagine other people having that same thought. You can achieve the level of torque that you need to have by what your vehicle manufacturer calls for without uh, achieving the correct thread engagement. You still do need to make sure you have that thread engagement before you go and clamp that wheel down. And that's because once you apply the, the, the torque, it's very probable that your fastener will be able to hold uh, the amount of torque in the few threads or the amount of threads that you've captured. However, the point is you want to spread that torque out on the fastener through the whole uh, desired uh, thread engagement range so that it spreads out evenly and properly keeps that force and that clamping force uh, onto the wheel. Clamping force is really a matter of the lug nut pushing the wheel against the hub and then the spring of the hub kind of pushing back on the vehicle is what keeps everything taut. So we're trying to achieve that. We're also trying to make sure the fastener is there to withstand uh, you know, that amount of torque and not fail for many uh, revolutions to come. All right, so here's a question that's actually very good and there's actually a really good answer behind it. And it says, are all lug nuts necessarily created equally when it comes to thread engagement? This person's lug shopping and they're trying to figure out if there's something they need to look at to make sure that they're gonna achieve the perfect or the necessary required thread engagement for their hardware. And this is a great question because Lug nuts are not created equal. Um, um, let's take brands and quality aside. There's actually a difference between certain lug nuts. And if one of the videos that we've done on thread engagement, we actually show you that one, uh, you know, pretty popular fastener actually has a, kind of a lip to help the lug nut get aligned and not cross thread. Uh, but when that lip is there, it actually delays the thread engagement from starting. So then there's another lug nut that we actually show you where the threads pick up from the moment it hits the bottom of the tape or the lug nut. So yes, uh, you know, it's true. You could essentially achieve 
different uh, thread engagement or a different amount of thread engagement with different fasteners. So if you're right on the bubble there, let's say you have a fastener and for some reason, uh, you know, you're supposed to have eight turns and you're only getting seven and a half, then yeah, I mean, a different, a different hardware or a different lug nut uh, could potentially make all the difference to allow you to be able to achieve that. And when you start talking about lug bolt cars for some of you Euro guys out there, remember that if for some reason you've done something that we don't condone, like use a spacer or something to that effect, you know, you can get longer lug bolts. Just do the measurement. Don't just buy the longest bolt that you can find because truthfully you can put that baby in and then your e-brake won't work or some other things in, in that area. So uh, find the right size, but uh, it's generally easy to do. And if you can uh, kind of figure out what you added onto the vehicle, you can kind of figure out what you need to get back from the fastener. That's uh, the questions we had uh, from our comment section or whatever it may be uh, from the good old interweb on thread engagement. We're done with this topic. So if you uh, would like to see more about thread engagement, make sure you go ahead and uh, search our channel because we have another video or two there that kind of explain the process from start to finish. And uh, that's it for this one. We will catch you on the next one. You take care. Peace out.